A long, long time ago it was. Before people began to dwell in the sky. A terrible war was waged between us humans and the wicked god. After the horrendous battle, our ancestors entombed the wicked god and left the polluted and barren earth to find a future in the sky. In this world, there are things that people mustn't touch. Who cares? God of demise and destruction, the cursed power of Malpertio. The Ed Magnus? Never heard of that before. Damn! The bastards! It's unthinkable to act against the Empire! Us heroes, we have so much to do. I've been waiting. Kill him. If left alone, it will prove a threat to my empire. Let us trust the Just young. one more. Who hold the spirit within them. Ah! Struggle alone ah! will fill a great emptiness within you and ease your pain. How long have you known? Come on, Kibari! Move it! Go away! Our only hope is the long lost ocean. Awaken! Ancient god of destruction! <laughs> seems to like you. If you can bond with it, something wonderful may happen to you. Are you ready? your name? So that's your name. Come, free us from a thousand years of darkness. A millennium of solitude and suffering. Beautiful white wings for you. For the world, death and destruction. <laughs> Oh. Uh. 
Where am I? here my name is Larry Kush I'm the village doctor here at Sebelrai they found you lying unconscious in the woods nearby and brought you here oh, yeah I remember now I was attacked by rock cats How stupid of me! You're lucky they were only rock cats. They are herbivores, after all. It's awfully strange to hear of them attacking humans. The animals in that forest have been acting quite peculiar lately. I'm not sure why, but they're much more aggressive than they used to be. You'd better stay away from those woods. By the way, what do you call yourself? I don't recall seeing you around these parts. My name's Callus. This is my first time here, which is why I got lost, I guess. Callus, is it? Welcome to Sebel Rai Village, boy. It looks like you took quite a blow to the head, so I was worried you might have amnesia. But you seem to be fine. If you feel up to it, you're welcome to take a look around the village. We're only a small farming community on the frontier. So, I'm afraid there isn't that much to see. By the way, I left your winglet over there, by the window. Quite an unusual design for a winglet, I must say different from those used by the Empire. It was handcrafted by my grandfather. He was an excellent engineer. Ah, I see. Your grandfather. Very impressive. And how is he doing? He died two years ago. Is that so? I'm sorry to hear that. Well, thanks for the help, Doc. I owe you one. Actually, I'm not the one you should be thanking. Mimai is the one who found you lying in the woods and carried you here. I see. Mimai, is it? That should do it. Let's get going.
Him? Her? Me, my? Is this who brought me here? Uh-huh. Me, my's really cool. He's way smarter than all the drunks you see around here. And helpful, too. I see. Well, thanks, me, my. I owe you one. Are you a traveler too? I came to see the ancient ruins in the woods near here. How about you? Me? Well, I... C-E-D-R. Cedar. They're 
crazy, huh, Mimi? Why bother going all the way down there just to see some stupid old ruins? Nobody in this village will even go near those woods. They say it's cursed or something. I hope they don't get jumped by wild animals out there. Like someone else did. Yeah, really. Not bad. Don't be thinking you can beat me. Here! Too easy. 